Hey everyone, this is Puri. This is Purology Motors episode two. Today we're gonna be installing my intake. It's a cold air intake from InGen. I got a hydro shield with it. My boy Kyle here is gonna help me install it. We got his type bar with the engine bay open here right now. Since almost nothing on this car is stock, a little preview of it. Go check him out on Instagram at the coin and I. I've left a link below as well. It is hot as hell today. What is it like 90 something already at 10 a.m.? Jeez. I had to drive here. It was like a 45 minute drive, so the engine's pretty hot. We're trying to cool it down, but we're gonna go into it now. So we gotta take this thing off, T25 torque. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Oh, this is still. Mm -hmm. So I'm loosening. Coupler on this. Do we need to take this off first? Yeah, we might need to loosen both of these. Woo! It's hot. Okay, so you can pull this up. And how do you. Okay. Alright. Damn! It's like beetles, leaves, and pine cones. Alright, this trim piece off. You have to remove the lever, and then you, what you have to do is pry this piece off here. Ended up using this to open it. It's easier to get it pried open. So, <laughs> if you don't have any pry tools, something like this will work a small nail. Good idea, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Oh yeah. I was like sitting over here trying to pry it open. All right, this just comes straight off. It's like a gear looking thing. And then the panel, I guess, just comes off. Yep. Next, you just gotta take these two T25s out to get the air inlet out. If you have the footage, it's it recording now. Oh, it's going in. All right. The inlet, this is a tiny, Air in the stock. Look. Two point fives. Okay. And then you can pull this whole housing out. That's what I thought. Ooh, we're getting mind. some clouds. Clouds feel nice. Oh yeah. So there's a grommet here that this case housing goes into. It's a couple grommets. You can just pull it straight out. That's the gross dude. Massachusetts so. Daily driven. Yeah. He's struggling with the box. Huh? How the f are we gonna install it? What? I said, if you're struggling to open in the box, how are we going to install it? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we make it through this. We'll see. finish here is um, the air filter oh, it's 
Whatever. This is the air filter. The other clamps. And then this thing. The hydro shield. So this is gonna go on afterwards. Alright, the kit comes with this rubber grommet and you're gonna to wanna to place it on this screw. And then that's where you're gonna fasten the intake to. Okay. I got the coupler on the filter. I'm gonna place the filter over the tube. This is the side that connects to the car, and this is the side that takes the air in. Make sure it's past that lip there. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, all right, dripping sweat everywhere. It's hot. All right, what's I don't know what size this is. Eight. Okay, this is tight. This on, just put this on right now, right? Mm -hmm. Must have for New England, <laughs> yeah. Condom, all right. I said dust earlier, Kyle corrected me. This is to protect from moisture, not dust. There it is, it's pretty cool actually. Before I tighten it, Kyle just made a good point. It's probably a good idea to make this accessible, to make this bolt accessible when it's actually in the car, so you can access it <laughs> if you ever need to take it off. Good point, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. So just have it like loose on there for now. Don't yeah. tighten it yet, and then we'll tighten that part when it's Good on call. the car. Yeah, so don't tighten this coupler yet, because you want it accessible once you get it in the car. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in there. This, this portion should go over that rubber grommet we put in earlier. It is a pretty tight fit on no, you're, you're on a bolt here, you're on a bolt on this side. You were hitting. So I'm pushing, trying to push against this side of the wall because there's a bolt uh, closer to the engine. And it's a pretty tight fit, but you should be able to Boom. get it past that choke point and then get it on the coupler. So another good call from Kyle, more experience doing this. We're gonna take actually take this coupler off and put it on the inlet first. <laughs> it's much easier, so good call. All right, got it on there. And then it's easier to get this pipe. It should be, yep. All right, it's coupled. But bro, you got the coupler, you got the thing in your hand, bro. <laughs> right. Noob here. Don't worry about it. We'll get it. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. That's why. That's why I came here with Kyle. Make sure I don't make these noob mistakes. Nice. All right. So yeah, here and here, right? Mhm. Mm so. so now our bolt is accessible from the side. I'm gonna go ahead and torque that down. All right, I'm gonna line this up so it looks aesthetically pleasing. And then I'm putting pressure from the intake onto the inlet so that it's flush. And got this tightened on. I should have done it the other way, but we're good. We're almost done. Is that on? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So we got a washer and nut combo that came with the grommet. I'm gonna throw the washer on there. I don't know what the metric size is, but for uh, for you Americans, you can use a 10. We got it installed, we're about to start it up. Here we go. Your neighbor, okay? For you to rev it a little bit. Do it.
Alright, here's a start with the intake installed. Alright, here's first drive with the intake installed. It's got the windows down, it's in sport mode. Woo! You can definitely hear that airflow. He's struggling with the box. Huh? Just say it, I'll cut it. How the f are we gonna install it? What? <laughs> I can't hear you. What? I said if he's struggling opening the box, how are we gonna <laughs> install it? <laughs>